Hey guys, welcome back to the Multilingual Mind. If you're new to this channel, I usually talk about tips and tricks to learning languages, uh, but this time I'm going to, to be talking about my first attempt in Chinese calligraphy. So the materials that you need to do Chinese calligraphy with are known as the four treasures or Wen Feng Si Bao. The first of these four treasures is the brush or B. The second is the ink or Mo. The third is the rice paper or Xuan Zhe. Here it reads Zhong Guo Xuan Zhe or Chinese rice paper. The last is the ink stone or Yan. After doing some research, I decided to purchase this felt mat which you put your paper on, and apparently it keeps the ink from going through to your table surface. Hopefully that one holds true. I also got this brush stand because brushes should hang while they dry uh, to maintain the shape of the brush. All right guys, the first thing I'll need to do is prep my brushes. As you can see here, my brushes are brand new and actually have a glue around the bristles, which help them to keep their lovely shape during shipping. Now I'll need to soak the bristles for about five minutes to soften up that glue in some room temp water. If you soak it for much longer, it might result in some shedding in your brush. Okay, so all of my brushes have had a chance to soak now in this water for about five minutes and I started loosening up the tip. Now is the time where we can rinse these under some cold water and start to loosen the tip a little bit more with our fingertips. Okay, so my setup looks like maybe it's not square with the table, but it in, is in fact square with the table. Uh, you're not supposed to tilt your paper to the side, like in Western culture. So normally I would start drawing some grids on here, but I think it's probably not really worth my time because for this very first session, I'm just going to be practicing particular strokes, but I do think maybe some lines would help me. So I'm just gonna draw some basic lines um, on this paper. All right, guys, um, I think my lines turned out decently straight. I'm kind of surprised. Um, and so then I noticed that I had actually eight lines and there are eight different strokes that I'm going to be practicing today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an example one on each side, uh, probably just with some sort of a marker now, um, and, and just try the, my best to give the best outline of what it should look like. And then when I'm practicing, I will have that to reference. Alright guys, I'm all done writing down all of my copies. So we have the first stroke here is called Dian or dot. And then we have Hang, which is the horizontal line. And then we have Shu, which is the vertical line. Then we have Pie, the down left slant. And Na, the down right slant. Then we have Ti, the right uptick. And then Go, the turn and zhe, the hook. And I would like to marvel at the fact that this paper somehow, as you could see, I was trying out different types of markers. Do not use a um, permanent marker or Sharpie because, oh my goodness, you saw what a disaster that was. Um, this paper feels really nice. If you've never had rice paper before, it is a very interesting soft texture that I really liked. Um, and it's a miracle I think that it didn't bleed through on the other side. So this paper is really worth your purchase um, because I think on normal paper, it could probably pretty easily bleed through. So this paper is meant to absorb ink well. 
All right, so at first we're gonna start with our ink stick and I'm going to attempt to make the right consistency of ink. So I'm going to attempt to pour just a tiny bit of water in here and just a couple drops and start to grind our ink. So it's starting to get some color, but I think I should have probably added in a little bit less water to begin with. I can see it's pretty thin. I think this is going to wait, make way too much ink, <laughs> but let's see. Okay, well, I heard not to put this flat, otherwise it'll get stuck. So I'm just gonna put this on a paper towel off to the side and get my paper ready here. And I guess we'll see if it's uh, too thick or too thin. So I have my paper here. Oh, by the way, don't use permanent marker <laughs> like I did there that turned out terribly. It just spreads and blots everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna get my ink up here. Um, I suppose you guys can't totally see that. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, so I have no idea what brush size to start with, so I'm gonna start with something like this. Um, and we're just gonna go for it, I guess. Okay. You'll probably be able to tell right away if it's way too thick or thin. So we're gonna start with this first stroke, Dian, Dian. Uh, and um, you're supposed to press down on the brush and then slowly, as you're releasing it, bring your tip toward the bottom edge there, I guess, and then bring it back up. Oh, it's so hard to hold a brush this way. I can't tell you guys, I would rather hold it this way, but I'm supposed to hold it this way, so. I will try my best. Is that really not gonna bleed through? That is surprising, but I think that my ink is probably too thin. Doesn't look terrible, but I have I'm scared about going to the other strokes. <laughs> I think it I think the ink does need to be a bit thicker though. Let's go ahead and grind a little bit more in here. Who knows? But I think if it I think if it spreads that much, it's probably because it's too watery. Okay, let's try this. Or well, maybe I just had way too much ink on my brush. That might have been it too, huh? Okay. Ooh, that one was more like the shape. Look at that. More of a triangle. Okay, so just press it down and then slowly lift up to the tip. I can't believe this isn't bleeding through the... Oh my gosh. I can't believe that mat is not getting dirty with this. That's amazing shouldn't talk. <laughs> I'm just messing it up. Okay, well, that was it for the first stroke. We're gonna go for the second stroke here, so get some ink. 
and okay so it's supposed to be strong and then uh, less strong when you pull it over and then strong again at the end and then you kind of whip it around i guess oh my word let's just try this out okay so strong over strong and around hey that's not the worst i've ever seen okay try it again strong over strong around Ooh, that one's not so shabby okay On to the next one, uh, shoe, the vertical line. So it looks like, um, well, I read in uh, my calligraphy book <laughs> to press down hard at the beginning and then you will uh, move your brush down and then press down a little bit firmer again and then slowly lift up until only the tip is touching. So let's get some ink and attempt this. I have a feeling this is going to take a lot of practice. Okay. Oh, if only you guys knew, I'm sure some of you do know, <laughs> how difficult it is to do this with a camera and tripod in your face. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's make the next one prettier. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that was not so good. Okay. I feel like I'm running out of ink. I really don't want to have to grind more, but maybe we'll have to. You know, they say to hold it completely vertical. I wonder if there's like, if, if it's supposed to be slightly off to the side. It's just so hard for my American hands to not do that. And I still keep not believing that it's <laughs> not gonna bleed over onto my felt mat or my table, but it's, it's, work it's holding through. So um, make sure you guys get that uh, rice paper I think this type of writing seems to take so much control in order to get it right. You really have to control the amount of pressure that you're putting at every point. Maybe it gets easier if you write faster, <laughs> but I'm not ready for that yet. to the next we're going to do a pie the down left slant i just mixed up some new ink and i'm not sure if it's thick enough so we'll find out okay so uh you press down and then i believe it was like slowly in the middle and then sort of fast at the end
I didn't really let up and up in the middle there. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that one is really tough. We'll need some more practice on that one. Okay, now let's go on to the nah down right slant. I guess I should have thought about my ink before. If it was too thick or thin. So, okay. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot to say. So you press your tip down and kind of goes down and then press at the bottom and then lift up to the side until the tip of your brush is the only thing touching. Alright, now let's go to T, the light uptick. So I've seen this one in other shapes um, where they're a little bit more horizontal in a lot of the examples. So I might try to do it um, well more that way. I don't know. Maybe I'll try this one first with that sort of a shape. So you press down and then sort of really fast come to the end there. And I think this one is usually uh, connected with, oh gosh, which one was it? Uh, I think it was usually mixed with this one. So you would do this first, whoop, and then down to the left, um, like in the symbol or in the, for in the symbol for water. Uh, but this is like the first part of it. So I don't know if there's a really great ending for this one if you're just doing it by itself. Oops, yeah, maybe I just kinda need to let it go at the end. Oh, too fast. difficult okay not that any of these are really easy <laughs> okay let's go to this one here the turn go well if anything this video will be nice so that people can see um, how terrible I was at the beginning. Maybe I'll actually get better at some point if I keep practicing. Okay. Okay, so I think, I, I forgot to review this one, but I think you press here and then kind of go over and then you press at this point and then go kind of around and down. That seems to work the best. That's what I did more for this one. This one I didn't press in the corner. Um, I don't think I really pressed here either. So maybe that's the trick to getting that look. Oh, I need to kind of carry it out more. Hmm. Oh, that's a tough one. Or maybe I need more ink.
Ooh, that one's not half bad, right? Okay. All right, let's go to this, uh, the hook, which actually usually happens at the end of this shoe. So you will like go down to the bottom of the shoe stroke and then you will like slowly apparently bring your brush up to um, where only the tip is touching there and then it will create that sort of hook. Um, maybe I'll just try the hook for now though without this part of it, without the shoe part of it. So press down and then, oh, well that was kind of fast, but I, I just don't feel comfortable doing it really slow. It's, I mean, it's a hook, like I don't think that you're gonna be able to really, okay, I'll try it really slowly and this one will probably be disastrous. I just don't believe them when they say, yeah, well, I mean, you kind of have to flick it a little bit, right? Okay, now let's try with the shoe and the je, the hook, okay? So... Not half bad, okay. I'm gonna get some more ink. Uh oh, I think I just lost a hair out of my brush. Okay. So. There's always way too much ink on my brush, I think, the very first time I go to write. I have to remember to stop talking when I write. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that one is pretty bad. Okay, well, maybe one more. I think I'm running out of ink there on the tail ends of those. This one, my first one was the best, I think. <laughs> that's kind of sad. Hopefully I would have, you know, gotten better, but that's not what happened. Okay, so there you have it, guys. These are the main, what did I say, eight strokes of calligraphy in Chinese calligraphy. And I obviously need lots of practice before I go on and uh, really start to write full characters but you know maybe I'll just wing it and practice I think I'm on like lesson six right now of integrated Chinese I could maybe practice my new characters although that's that's probably like really not recommended for beginners but what the heck we'll break some rules here so thanks so much guys have you tried Chinese calligraphy before let me know in the comments below if you like this video, click subscribe to see more videos on my Chinese language and culture journey. That's all I've got for today. Xia bye bye.